Welcome to Now Found. My name is Courtney Cohen. Do you feel like there's something in your life, a talent or a skill or occupation or a relationship that you feel defines you, defines who you are? I was watching one of the myriad of singing competitions on TV one day. This girl comes on stage and she's having her little introduction with the judges and she's telling them a little bit about who she is and she says, I don't know who I would be without singing. I don't know who I'd be without music. And it just made me think, I mean, it's a really typical thing to hear on these shows. Everybody says something. I don't know who I'd be without this talent, without this skill, without this job. We hear it a lot, but it got me to think, we attach so much of who we are to what we do to our job, to some skills that we have, to our hobbies, our interests, to the relationships that we have. Um, and, and we attach our identity to those things. And I think that that causes an issue. I mean, even one day, uh, several months ago, my husband and I were having a conversation. And if you're married, you know what I mean by that. I was editing his book and it was, it's a little tender to have somebody edit your book. Um, it doesn't always feel comfortable. So we were having a conversation and he didn't like some of the things that I was suggesting that would improve his book. And I was taking personal offense at it because it's my husband and I'm the editor and I know what I'm doing. And he said, Court, you've got to stop. You've got to realize that while well, yes, you're the editor, that is not who you are. That's a skill you have, it's a job you have, but that does not define who you are. If you never edited another piece in your life, you would still be you. And you know, he was absolutely right. Absolutely right. It made me ask myself the question, who would I be if I was stripped of everything? Everything. No husband, no kids, no family, no friends. For me, Music and singing, yeah, hugely important and has been my entire life. What if I didn't have the ability to make music? Writing, that's huge for me. What if I didn't have paper to write on, a computer to type on, any ability to write whatsoever, any thoughts to write down? What would I be, who would I be, without all of those things that I do? And when we rely on these things that we do to define who we are, it's a fundamental misunderstanding of the very foundation of what makes us who we are. It's a misunderstanding of our very identities. Now, I fail at this pretty much daily. Pretty much every day at some point, I am putting too much stock in my to-do list. And when I accomplish everything, I'm patting myself on the back and I'm finding my identity in that accomplishment. And I just, I do that far too much, finding myself in what I'm doing. But I really want to be able to say, just like the Apostle Paul did, to live is Christ and to die is gain. To Paul, living wasn't about the things he did or the possessions he had. It was all about Christ. Point blank, very simple. To live as Christ and to die is gain. How powerful would it be that I could be stripped of absolutely everything and still know who I was? Still know that I am found. Still know that I am loved and I am valuable. It's a challenge to me to be able to say, I don't know who I would be without Jesus. I don't know who I would be without him. And you can set aside the music and the writing. You can set aside the ministry. You can set aside the relationships that make me a wife or a mom or whatever. You can set aside the roles and the jobs and the to-do lists. And I can still know who I am because I have been made in the image of God. Today, that is my hope and my prayer for you, that all together we can come to this place where even if we are stripped of that thing that we have held on to so long that has defined us, that we have relied on for our sense of identity, 
and worth and purpose and value that even if that thing is gone that we can still stand firm in knowing who we are and who we belong to today i want to offer a resource my book called refining identity refining identity is all about discovering who god designed you to be and separating you from all of these other defining factors and discovering what he has for you who he calls you you don't have to be defined by what you do you are simply defined by who you are you can get your copy of refining identity at nowfound.org it's also available on amazon and barnesandnoble.com thank you so much for being here with me today be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything and always remember you are never too lost to be found